So now in this video, we have a servo right here whose position is uh, determined by how much light is falling on the light dependent resistor. And we have a 555 timer which is sending the signal to the servo. The servo relies on a, you gotta power it for one thing, but it relies on a steady stream of uh, pulses. So this would be a total of about 20 milliseconds. It doesn't have to be exactly 20 milliseconds. During that period of time, it's how long the uh, output here is high. So uh, close to five volts in this case. And um, it should be somewhere between about one to two milliseconds right there for how long it is high out of a total of 20 milliseconds. To set the time that the output is high, current has to go through that resistor and then it's split between those two resistors so there's actually less equivalent resistance there than 10,000 ohms of resistance. That resistor and through the diode that only lets uh, current go that way easily though, uh, well the capacitor charges. Then when the output is low, the capacitor discharges through that resistor, whatever current makes it through here, also goes to ground. Um, so it doesn't affect the discharge, but it has to discharge through there. So you can see we have a maximum of uh, 14,000 ohms of resistance while charging, whereas we have 100,000 ohms of resistance while discharging. So it's always gonna take a lot longer to discharge and the output is gonna be low most of the time. So now as a starting point, we have one plus 10 plus 3,000 ohms of resistance for 14,000 ohms of resistance when it comes to charging the capacitor, as you can see there going through the diode. That is our maximum resistance because when light falls on the light dependent resistor, it starts conducting better. So we get more current flowing through the light dependent resistor. Uh, more current through this part of the circuit there equates to less resistance right there. And uh, so if this was bright enough, it would completely go around the 10K resistor. The 10K resistor would not exist anymore uh, electrically. Just uh, the 1000 and the 3000 ohm resistor charging the uh, 0.22 microfarad capacitor. So I wanted to use a low value capacitor here. So I could use relatively low value uh, resistors. So that's the charging time. Again, we got uh, 4000 ohms up to 14000 ohms of resistance we might be dealing with. Um, so 14,000 is the maximum. That's when the output's high. When it's discharging, all the current goes through the 100K resistor. Well, it's discharging because it can't go through the diode that way. And any current making it through here also goes to ground. So that won't affect the discharge time. But we have 100,000 ohms versus uh, 4 to 14,000 ohms of resistance. So it's going to take a lot longer to discharge and the output is going to be low for quite a bit of time. But since this is a fixed value resistor, the total amount of time is gonna be relatively close to the same, no matter what resistance change we have there. The servo has uh, wires uh, built into them and the little arm there uh, pops off. I think it should actually be pointing there. But in uh, any case, you can just uh, move it or put a different one on altogether, no problem. The end of the wires there has uh, this connector. I haven't uh, memorized the name, but in any case, the male connector has little pins, but you can just take uh, breadboard jumpers in this case the little wire at the end there there we go uh, fits in there really well as well the uh, red one on the uh, servo there is the positive supply brown is the negative supply and then orange there is the signal 